Hello, everyone. So, this is my friend Alan. <laughs> so for today, um, I'm gonna do something a little different. I know I kind of like fucked up with the vlogmas, and it like wasn't cute. Um, this was the drag queen who was in one of my videos, um, <laughs> and so today we're gonna film like a get ready with us, like cute, like just a fun little video. So we're gonna begin. So today I'm going to be mixing the Kat Von D foundation in shade light 46 cool with the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Cover shade 303. Oh, I love it. I'm using Guerlain. It's the bougie. He's so bougie. You should have saw what he brought to my motherfucking house. This it's bitch everywhere. brought a cart full of makeup. <laughs> so it's the Tenu de Perfection. I don't know what the fuck it's pronounced. Um... But I love it, and it's full face, and it looks natural. Natural, very natural, full coverage. I tried to wink, but it didn't come out. Oh, well. So to oh, prime, what I used was the Josie Marin. This is the... So fucking bougie! Oh, so bougie. That is so bougie. I've never heard of that before. That's it's bougie. It's the Surreal Skin Argan Finishing Balm. Super hydrating. Kind of smooths your pores out a little bit. But it doesn't have, like, a silicone feel to it. Exactly. My skin's soft. And I just use the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. I love it. Alan doesn't like it because it has silicone in it, but, like, I live for it. My skin's not the best, but honestly, it's whatever. So I have two colors here because one's too light, one's too dark. My favorite thing about this Kat Von D foundation is the fact that it smells like vanilla. And I'm not trying to be shady, but... I feel like a lot of brands ever since Too Faced made like the cocoa like collection and like all of their products smell like cocoa. I feel like everyone's trying to do that because they know that's how products sell. Mm -hmm. Once again, not being shady. Being but being honest. shady. Being a little shady. Like, I'm not judging, but like, I'm judging. I'm just spilling the tea because it's true. So, as you can see, my foundation's a little light, and Alan's is a little dark, so we're both just a little uh, okay. <laughs> so I hate when, honestly, I'm not the type of person to bring it down my neck, either. Not as, like, people say you should. No. I love. That's, like, my favorite thing, oh because then when, like, it doesn't actually match me, it, like, look like it does. But then I feel like it just gets so, like, gross and, like, looks so, like, disgusting on my neck. No. Okay. Guys, so we're really turning this into a no mirror makeup challenge. <laughs> Why are we so funny? I think we're so funny. So now we're gonna show like our skin complexion. <laughs> You'll see in the video. Yeah, so I'm using the Shape Tape Concealer in shade Fair. Um, Alan doesn't like it for some reason. Can you explain why you don't like it? Because it has like a matte finish, and I don't like it because it makes my under eye, under eye look so... He likes to be greasy. Like dry? And not matte. So what I love to do with my concealers is take a little bit of eye cream. Because it's going to be super hydrating. The Clinique Pep Star Obsessed. Make sure you use the ring finger, though. Not any other finger but yeah. the ring finger. Do you know why? I don't. <clears throat> School me. School you. Okay, so your ring finger has like the less pressure. Or. No. <laughs> <laughs> your ring finger is the. Uh, what the ah! is? He's like, wait, how did the Sephora instructor say it? <laughs> no. Your ring finger <laughs> is the. <laughs> I still can't fucking say this. This fucking finger has the less, like movement to it. What the fuck is it called? Pressure? So, it's gonna be the most gentle underneath your eyes, so do a tapping motion. I'm gonna use the Nourish Creamy Concealer and Custard because I'm basic and I'm like every other fucking YouTuber that uses custard. And I like to go heavy. Clearly. And I do one eye at a time because it dries. I like someone. <laughs> so, as you can see, Alan doesn't really bake. No. I don't like to bake. I like to use this brush though to like kind of like pounce it in the creases just so it really gets in there. Have you ever tried it with the beauty blender? No. <gasps> oh, you should have done that. 
it like melts in. I'll try it with the other. Try it at home. If you use your beauty blender, like damp and dip it in your powder and like press underneath your eyes, I'm telling you, your life will change. Your life will change. Do you know what I see people do a lot? What? It's like, I feel like they bake and then they kind of like put their, like there's powder already all over the eyes and shit and they put more shit on top, like creams. And I'm like, ugh, like. Like, you can't do, like, cream or liquid after a powder. No. Especially a loose powder. Like, I, people make me want to throw up. Okay, so we're now going to bronze. Um, I'm using the medium deep matte bronzer, Chocolate Soleil, Too Faced. Of course, he's copying me. They're just called Chocolate Fucking Soleil Bronzer. He's, like, the medium deep chocolate matte bronzer. Well, they need to know what shade. Oh, wait. You want to know something funny? In what? the light, this is more of a satin. Not a mat. Just saying. It's not noticeable, though. I promise you. Can you see it? Are you light? I used two Why of them. This looks so gray. This is the same bronzer. Is yours, like, a knockoff? <laughs> no! Look at, guys, look at this. Okay, so these are legit the same exact bronzers, and they're literally different shades. This one is mine. This one is Alan's. Like, what? What is that? So, I'm taking the Morphe M527 brush. It's super dirty. Um, and the bronzer. And I like to kick on my bronzer. Honestly, I, like, go in. It does, yeah. A lot. What I do is I do the light shade first, and then I kind of blend out and use the darker shade. Do you ever watch the, like, No Mirror Makeup Challenge and, like, think you can so do that, but... But, like, you really can't. Like, you really can't. <laughs> like, right, I can do bronzer, obviously, like, who can't? Oh, my God. Like, I think I just got makeup in my mouth because it literally tasted like chocolate. Tasted like chocolate. Like, it literally tasted like chocolate. That's so fucking weird. Is that all in the bronzer? These are infused with real cocoa powder, which is really cool, too, so... That's something nice if you want to go out and buy that. Okay, so I just got this brush for Christmas. It's the Morphe M500. And, like, so many of the bristles are falling out. Like, I don't know what the deal is. I actually find this brush a little scratchy. Really? Yeah. Yeah, like, I mean... Look at this one. They fall out, too. I mean, can't post that with Morphe sends us products. We can't. <laughs> Bitch! My 700 subscribers, I'm done. It was, what, $5.99? Yeah. And then I use a discount code. I bought a lot of my Morphe brushes in California at DragCon. Um, we're going to DragCon. Well, he's going to DragCon. I'm going with him, hopefully. <laughs> what? So you're going to DragCon? <laughs> I know, but still. Like, I wouldn't be going if it wasn't for you. Holy shit! Do I look tan? You look really good, Alan. You're, like, looking better than me. Can you stop? Please. Thank you. But I actually don't really, like, use that brush to bronze. I know why you want it. I know why you wanted to do this video with me, because you know you're better than makeup. <laughs> Bye. I hate you. Like, bye. Peace. So I'm switching to the uh, MAC. I don't know what number it is. 168, I think. Um, I find this that, like, this perfectly contours your cheeks, so... I'm that person who contours with their bronzer a little bit, because... Who doesn't, though? I feel like... I'm not as, like, warm tone as I think I am. Like, you know, like, it compliments me. Does it? Mm-hmm. Don't you think? Oh my god, shit, I'm still using my light one. I didn't realize that. That's why I'm not, like, getting bronze. <laughs> so, now I'm gonna take the Kat Von D Contour Kit and Sephora 79 brush, Obsessed. I knew you were gonna hit me, <laughs> I knew it. I like to mix like all three colors because you know what? Holy sh <laughs> holy shit! Like you kinda cut it a little bit. Okay. Oh my god, that pop was so fucking loud in my ear. So we're gonna move on to contour. I'm using my TARDIS Pro Glow. Um this is my new favorite palette because I really like this cream con as I was saying, I really like this cream contour, and this stunner highlight is just everything! Holy shit! Um, I'm using the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette, and I'm gonna go in... Excuse you. Ow! I'm gonna go in with 
Burkina. My hand. My finger's crooked. My hand. Palette is so pigmented that like it's so stupid. Toy it looks toy Jeffree Star. Damn. So we already put primer on as well. So sorry about that. So I'm just building my crease. I love warm creases. I think they're like the best. Does that make sense? And then usually with like a clean brush, I like to just kind of sweep over everything. I love palettes that have mirrors. Like, what's the point of making an eyeshadow palette that's $49 if you're not going to have a mirror on it? Like, please tell me. What's the fucking point? I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line now. So this is what I have so far. Steven's not done yet. So right now I'm putting on this gold pigment that came with the Kat Von D Serpentina palette. Um, I put it on one eye. It's very, like, yellowy. I love it. So I'm taking this color here and just putting that on the lids like so, if we can see. So I'm going to go in with my highlight. I'm going to use Champagne Pop by Becca. Ooh, exclusive to Sephora. <laughs> Shameless promotion. I love it. Take the Anastasia A23 brush, which I'm like obsessed with. But this highlight though, you guys, like it fits on like every skin tone. I'm not kidding. I have a friend who doesn't wear highlight because she doesn't want her texture to show. And I'm like... Who the fuck's gonna tell you? Like, I don't care. Show my texture. I have a lot of texture. I hate you. I love me. That's all that matters. Alright, so I'm finishing off my look with the new Kylie Jenner lip gloss in shade Noel. Um, <clears throat> I'm obsessed with it. Just look at that. Isn't it great? I'm wearing the new, but it's not new. The NYX. NYX! <laughs> These are I'm just kidding. They, they are really good. I like those. Dude, like, look at this. It's only on my bottom lip, and it's, like, fucking amazing. Finish your spray. This one needs to last long, girls. Come on. All right, thanks for watching. I'm putting Alan's links down below, and I'm putting mine as well. Bye! Why are you doing Oh, I did one of those YouTube videos. <laughs>